Now we're going to discuss how to do the neuro scan, how to analyze brain function in relation to the posture system in three minutes or less. I'm going to go through each step with our patient here. Okay, the first thing that I want you to do is look forward, deep breath in, and breathe out and relax your shoulders. So from the side here, I'm checking her posture. Then I'm going to come around, I'm going to check her posture from the back as well as evaluate postural tone from the right to the left. Then I'm going to walk around to the front of the patient and I'm going to also evaluate her posture from the frontal aspect here. Okay. After doing that, I'm going to have the patient stick their tongue out. Good. I'm watching for any deviation of the tongue. And now I'm going to have the patient stand on one leg. Good. And hold that. What I'm doing is I'm watching for the initial postural sway. Okay, and what happens with a lot of patients is they may sway to one side and then the other. You want to see the side of initial postural sway. The second would be considered compensation. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to have you put your feet together, hands by your side, close your eyes. Again, I'm doing a Rombergs to check for initial postural sway. Okay, eyes open, hands here. Okay, as fast as you can, move back and forth. So I'm evaluating cerebellar function, lateral cerebellum, to see which side, if any, has um, decreased function for lateral cerebellum and relax. Okay, now I'm going to check her eye convergence. So I'm going to have her look at me and then she's going to follow my finger in to converge her eyes. Okay, checking convergence, good. Her eyes should go midline. Now we're going to check the cardinal fields of gaze by doing an eye circle. Okay, follow my finger. Okay, we're going to do that two times. Watching her eyes. Her, only her eyes should be moving, not her cervical spine. Now we're going to do a muscle test for the motor cortex. Hand down and resist the pressure. Okay, good. And the other arm. And resist. Excellent. So that's for the motor cortex. Then I'm going to stand behind the patient. We're going to test the sensory cortex for the dorsal columns by doing the spinal push test. This also helps us localize the level of postural instability to apply the, the treatment protocol. Okay, I'm just going to challenge each segment looking for levels of postural instability. And we'll see a level of postural instability with increased anterior postural sway. Okay, this for example would be a level of postural instability. Great, and that's the neuro scan. So we've just learned how we can analyze brain function in relation to the posture system in three minutes or less. This is something you can do with your patients every time they come in the office to have really specific treatment protocols.